when you wake up, this is what you gotta do You gotta crush the day before it crushes you Every day I'm here to motivate, lead the way in the AM I don't want you to hear these words, I need you to feel what I'm saying, oh no. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you You gotta crush the day before it crushes you In the building, Jimmy Wilson Motivation's coming, I can feel it First thing that you need to do Is crush the day before it crushes you You have to think of success kind of like a cat The more you chase it, the more it's gonna run away But if you take the time to sit back You're calm, you're collected You're giving off that energy as though you want to be something that's desired, what's going to happen? The cat's going to hop up in your lap. It's going to purr. It's going to rub up all against you. And it's going to want your attention. It's going to beg for your attention. Same thing can be said about success and opportunity and money and relationships. The more and more you're chasing these things, the further and further they're getting away from you. And I know that can be hard to understand sometimes because you're like, yo, I'm on the grind. I'm hustling. I'm trying to get there. And yes, in some instance, that is how you get the result. But I think the problem and and really the analogy here is understanding that for you to get that success, you have to trust the process. You have to just believe in it because when you're chasing it, you're trying to get to it fast, right? You're going after it. You're trying to get to it as quickly as you can. And sometimes we skip steps. Sometimes when we're going about trying to receive that that blessing or that opportunity, we're not sitting back and recognizing that it's right there in our face. And it's like I said, when you're chasing the cat, it runs away from you. When you're chasing opportunity, what if the opportunity you really want is sitting right in front of you, but you're chasing after something because you think that's what you want? That's the hard part about this entire thing is you have to just understand that when you sit back and you focus all of your energy on being the attractive magnet, right? You want to attract that opportunity. You want to bring it to you. That is how you ultimately go about finding your success. That's how you attract it into your life. You can't just chase it all day long, right? I had an episode a couple uh, back about chasing the rabbits, When you're chasing multiple opportunities, when you're chasing multiple rabbits, you have a hard time catching them. Same thing in the success world. If you're just sitting back and attracting it, you're putting out that bait, you're putting out the energy that would make something want to walk towards you, that's going to be your key to success. That's going to be how you really fast forward the receiving of your blessings. And I know it sounds crazy, but you have to just believe in me here. Understand. Sit back focus, be the attractive character in your life and everything that you want will come to you instead of you having to chase after it. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crushing the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.